plenty naturally that don't get better than these. The blackberries growing on a hillside, the deer and the antelope play. Living in the land of plenty, any day's another wonderful day. Living in the Indian nation, where the beauty and life abound. Living in the Indian nation, where the spirit of nature is found. Is found, is found. The sky sends a message of dawning, as far as the thunderbird sees. Days in the land of plenty, naturally, that don't get better than these. The days in the land of plenty, naturally, they don't get better than these. The days in the land of plenty, naturally, they don't get better than these. But the days in the land of plenty, naturally, they don't get better than these. The days in the land of plenty, naturally, they don't get better than these. I've been chasing chickens around all day and I'm... I'm tired. That's because you are a chicken hawk. You're not meant to soar with eagles. Hey! Says who? I can soar with the best of them! Do what? Oh, great. Now I have water in my ear. Why can't people be more careful? Do they think it's easy being a canoe? You ate one too many chickens for breakfast, my friend. Perhaps you should consider a diet. Oh, nice! Very nice! Hey, I thought all animal guides were noble and, and, and wise and kind! And honest. Above all things, we animal guides are honest. Okay, okay. So, uh, honestly, do you think I could be a full-fledged animal guide? Do you, huh? Do you, do you, huh? You? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! Uh, well, if you have the will, you will find the way. There's nothing that one cannot do if one puts one's mind to it. Hmm. Does, uh... That mean yes? <laughs> well, I guess it does. I, I guess it does, my fluffy friend. Oh, will you help me, old great eagle guide? Will you? Will you? Please, 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 please. First, I must help Pocahontas. Hey, hey, hey I'm right behind you. Uh, Poca, who's it? Pocahontas. Poca, uh, what's it? Pocahontas. Oh, bless you. And what's a Pocahontas anyhow? She is the daughter of Powhatan, a powerful chief of many tribes. He is a keeper of peace among many men. And his daughter? A beautiful princess with a soul as warm as the sun and a heart as vast as the sky itself. Pocahontas! Oh, White Eagle, you are late for my lesson. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Little Fluffy Wing, animal guide in training. Oh, then I am twice as fortunate to have two such wise teachers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Have you always had this problem with gravity? Good thing the ground was there to catch me. Little Fluffy Wing, give thanks to the Earth, Nokomis. <laughs> Indeed. We call the Earth our grandmother, Nokomis, the oldest and most powerful of the spirits. And Nokomis gives us rains, too. No, no, Pocahontas. You must concentrate on your lessons. It's hard to concentrate when the whole world is coming alive with spring. The rains come from the Thunderers, the great spirits' eagles, my brothers and sisters. I remember now, the Dew Eagle. <laughs> wow! You're related to the Dew Eagle? Hmm. I've got this, this cousin on my mother's side who can swim across the ocean on his back, balancing tomatoes on his toes. Pocahontas, we're not finished. Then teach me about the big, beautiful ocean. Pocahontas. Allow me. <clears throat> the ocean, it's wet. Hey, where did everybody go? Hey, you guys, wait for me! Class is still in session, Princess. Hey, anybody got any soap? I've had snacks smarter than you. But not cleaner than me. Look, my eagle friend, 
There's something in the ocean. No, no, I just fished him out. Oh, I... Why, there is something. Looks like three somethings. Why, Tigo, what are they? Uh, why, that's, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, what I mean to say is they are, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, yes, yes, they appear to be perfectly normal uh, flumming for whatchamacallums. The, uh, yeah, the, the angle of the light makes them seem to be, uh, my goodness, oh, I do believe that they're, oh. Heading this way? Let's get my canoe so I can greet them. Pocahontas, no! All right, I will meet them here. Are all my lessons lost on you? In the woods, one's safety lies in avoiding the rabbit as well as the bear. Wow, that's deep. I mean, it's profound. It's brilliant. It's... it's... what's it mean? It means we've got to take cover until we know if those things are safe. Pocahontas, I insist. If you insist on staying, we'll watch from the forest. Yes, White Eagle, from the forest. They seem peaceful enough. I would like to speak with them. No, Pocahontas. Remember, a man's appearance may be misleading. His actions are the true test of character. You are good. Uh, you think I could try my wing at this uh, guiding business? Uh, perhaps later. Much later. Tonight we camp here. There's bound to be game in the forest and the beach is wide and level. No, I don't think that's wise, Mr. Gaines. Oh, and who made you, Captain Mr. Smith? It's been over a hundred days since we left England, sir. Twice we've made land and twice we've sailed on. And I, for one, won't stand for a third time. Look around. I'm not alone. We're staying here. The provisions are too low to move on. If we stay, our ships stand unprotected from storms and vulnerable to attack from any passing Spanish armada. Our crews are exhausted. We would never survive an assault. If we travel up the river, we'll be much safer. Did you say safe, Smith? You're sending us straight into the hands of the Indian savages. Yeah, the savages. They'd wipe us all out. They will not attack us if we do not attack them. Listen to his voice. It's so calm and gentle. He must be a spirit. No, Pocahontas, he is human. More reasonable than most, but still human. I just hope that his reason is understood by those who hear it. We should leave now, Princess. The sun has half journeyed down the path to the home of its brother Moon. Ha! Huh, my, my, it's that late already. <laughs> How time flies! We don't want to miss the feast of the golden harvest. For once, Fluffy Wing is right. We don't want to miss the feast of the golden harvest. I forgot all about it. Why didn't you remind me? Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I really meant to, but I, uh... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I just did remind you. The most important day of the year for the chief's own daughter to miss it. Come, Pocahontas. If we were there now, we'd still be late. There is no time to waste. I'm coming, White Eagle. I'm coming. <laughs> it was my responsibility to get her there. No good animal guide would make such a mistake. Watch where you're going, why don't you? He ran right in front of me. Uh, don't worry yourself. I'll make it. Oh, look there. Just look. Everyone is already arriving. People of all the villages in Chief Powhatan's domain. Huh. And don't they look nice all fancied up? Hmm. I wish I'd had my feathers done. No, oh, we'll never make it on time. Never. Where is my dugout? I always leave it here. What? What? What's that? Oh, you've lost your canoe. Do you see it, White Eagle? How can it be? All the lessons I gave you on caring for one's possessions. Have I failed you as a teacher? Huh. Good thing I landed on my head, or I could have done some real damage. Will you stop playing around and start looking? Oh, right. Sure, you bet. You got it. I'll look. Don't you worry. We'll find it. Uh, what are we looking for, anyway? Her dugout canoe. Oh, right! Dugout! Yes, that's it! Okay, I understand! Oh, Doug! Here, Doug! Come on, Doug! Oh, no. Uh, Pokehontas? How many times do I have to tell you it's not Pokehontas, it's Poka? Hey, Poka! I found something! 
Uh oh. Is that you, my friend? Um, no. Uh, uh uh. Nobody here but us trees. What are you doing up there? Uh, well, I, uh, um, uh, well, that is to say, I mean, <laughs> um, actually, I, uh, Oh, well, uh, Pocahontas, that water is cold. I don't mean cool or nippy or even chilly. I mean freezing. I don't want to go in. The canoe doesn't want to be a canoe anymore? Oh, tell me it's not so. It's not so. Oh, thank you. Actually, it is so, but I uh, just wanted to make you feel better. Oh, no. Oh, I'm liable to catch my death of cold. <laughs> Oh, see, 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 I'm sick, I tell you, I, I'm running a fever. <laughs> I believe you're well enough, my friend, and I need your help. I must get back to the village very quickly. And I know that a fine, strapping canoe like you, who moves like the very wind itself, could get me there with great speed. Oh, well, uh, I don't like to brag, of course, but uh, I can move pretty fast when I put my mind to it. There is none faster. Oh, perhaps you could show my friends here how fast you truly are. Uh, yes, yes. Pocahontas has often spoken of your swiftness. Uh, I'd love to see it. Well, I don't know. If the water's cold and you're not feeling well, we can... He wants to see it, too. Uh, well, you, you know, I, I really hate to show off, uh, but if you insist... This is cold, cold, oh, cold, this is so cold. Then begin, my friend, and soon you won't even notice. Ice, 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 this water's like ice. I'm turning blue, I can tell it. This is it, the last straw after this trip. I'm retiring. You see, I'll make it yet. But you, you can't go to the ceremony dressed like that. It, it's completely unacceptable. I'll be ready in time. Your jacket. Don't forget your jacket. <laughs> quickly, princess, quickly. Ooh, who moved that door? Your hair. Don't forget your hair. Bow low, my people, as I, Pohutten, your chief, speaks in the name of all gathered here, and in the name of all my family, my wife, my sons, my daughters, or daughter. Uh, daughters. I call upon the fathers of us all, upon the many who have come before us and dwell now in the spirit world. See the bounty before us and hear the thanks we give you. May the coming summers be as fruitful for us and may the coming winters treat us with kindness. And now, let the celebrations and the games commence. <laughs> I have this dance? No. Aw, oh, come on. You're only young once. Live a little. Ha, yep. I was born to dance. If Fluffy Wing is to become an animal guide, he has a long, long way to go. You know, I start dancing and my feet just won't stop. Stop. St hey, stop, stop. Whoa, stop, boy, stop. Whoa. <laughs> a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Blueberries are kind of tart this season. What are they doing now? Racing. Why? To see who is fastest. At getting where? Back to here. Why? Why what? Why don't they just stay here in the first place and save themselves all the trouble? <laughs> Well, thank you. 
though I do not see how you could lose against such competition. <laughs> the others race so poorly, they may never finish. Perhaps I should race you, Brightfire. <laughs> that would be no race. Are you worried I could win? <laughs> Are you challenging me? What did she say? She wants to race Brightfire. Surely she doesn't mean it. Who is she? The daughter of Pohatan. She is Pocahontas. Uh, quick water. It is a fitting name for her. Very well. I will race you, though there will be no pleasure in my victory. Be with me, sacred one. Brightfire is indeed a worthy competitor. Oh, poor Pocahontas. I fear she may have begun a race she cannot win. Not if I can help it. Psst, Dougie! Okay, all right. Here he comes, and okie dokie, fellas, let him have it! What is the meaning of this? Had a girl, Pokey! <laughs> Brightfire, come! Huh. Now why would she want to go in? What do you think you're doing? Just a bit more, Sacred One. Give me just a little bit more. I am honored to have lost to as worthy an opponent as you. Thank you, Brightfire. Your graciousness speaks well for your spirit. And she did it without your interference. I wasn't going to do anything, but uh, he talked me into it. The white men have decided to stay. No, this will not be good. Where'd all these fellas come from anyway? From across the ocean. Huh? And what's across the ocean? Uh, well, uh, well, uh, uh, the other side, of course. Come, Fluffy Wing. The chief has called a tribal meeting to discuss the situation. Boy, my first tribal council meeting. Now, what's Pocahontas up to? The great water no longer holds the white men back. Soon more will come, and more beyond that. If we do not become his friends, then we will become his enemy, and all of us will perish. McCormack, enough. We are not the white man's brother. We shall not harm the white men, nor shall we assist them. They shall not plant in our fields, nor hunt in our woods. But father, they cannot live without food. Who dares to? My daughter. You know your presence is forbidden here. I'm sorry, father, but I have heard the white men speak. You heard them? You could have been captured, Pocahontas. Leave us now. But this man was not like those others, father. I know it. A child knows it? What child can know of such things? Go now. Hear me. He spoke of harmony between our people. We should offer these white men our help. Daughter, that will do. You will not help the white men. And I forbid you, princess daughter, further contact with those white men. Do you understand me? I forbid you! I, I understand. Pocahontas, wait! Come back! Right now! Pocahontas, your father has forbidden you. My father has forbidden any contact with the white man. I'm only going to look at them. Wait, wait, wait a second there. Uh, let me give this a whack, okay? I beg your pardon. Just watch me. Now, Pokey ha uh, Pokey who, uh, Princess, I think you'll make better time if you go that way. What'd I tell you? What was that? You'll make better time that away? You call that guidance? Oh, 
sure. I mean, it's definitely quicker to the settlement that way. Oh. Pocahontas, what am I going to do with those structures? Have you ever seen anything like them? Of course I, uh, uh well, uh, actually, no, I, I haven't. Uh, but they're nothing special. Flimsily built, if you ask me. And their clothes. So strange, yet so beautiful. <laughs> Far too elaborate, in my opinion. It's a most amazing land, isn't it? This morning I saw an eagle from not ten paces. Oh, such a regal creature. Uh, look how they dawdle, uh, frittering away. Uh, well, uh, yes, I suppose they are a perceptive race. It's all so wonderful. Cook, what are we having for dinner tonight? Fish. Oh, yes, of course. And uh, remind me, what was for dinner last night? Broiled fish. And the night before that? Oh, uh, fried fish. And the night before that? Um, um, uh, let me see. Uh, that would have been, uh, fish with some dirt. <laughs> uh, the dirt was an accident. <laughs> and what will you feed us tomorrow? No, don't tell me. Could it be? Fish! Enough! The cook is working as hard as he can, Mr. Gaines. Well, why should we settle for surviving when there's a whole forest full of game out there? The Indians have forbidden us to hunt. You know that. Indians are. Well, I know that you haven't got the guts to do what needs to be done. No, Pocahontas, no. When we have won the trust of these Indians, then I'll be able to work out a hunting agreement. And when will that be exactly? When winter's here and the game is gone? When snow seals us in and we're too weak with hunger to save ourselves? If you and your companions don't provoke the Indians, we could reach an agreement that much sooner. And I say, we don't need an agreement. We are here to establish a colony for King James, not to wage war with the natives. Oh, you care more for the well-being of a bunch of savages than for your own kind? I respect the rights of all men, even you. And dead men, sir. What rights have they? Soon enough, we'll be among them. Pocahontas, you must leave. It is not safe here. It is so unfair. He is such a good man. Can those others not see that? Princess, I insist. You must leave now. It's my fault, Mr. Smith. I've been cooking too much fish, haven't I? No, it's not that, but I do hate to admit that Gaines has a point. Tomorrow, I'll speak with the Indians. <laughs> but, Mr. Smith, that could be very, very dangerous. There isn't much choice. If our Mr. John Smith wants to perish from hunger, he's welcome to. But we'll dine well enough tonight, eh, boys? <laughs> Quiet! Over there, I heard something. No, it's over there. It's the savages! Gaines, they're here! They've surrounded us! Cowards! We have the guns, don't we? No! Oh no! No, get me out of here! You red savages won't get my scalp! No! Those fools! I heard gunfire. Who's shooting at who? I'm afraid I know. Come on, let's go. What has happened? What is it? McCormack, what is happening? A white man has been captured near the village. You have killed one of our sons. It was your weapon that sent him to the spirit world. <gasps> no! I am sorry for your loss, sir. The guilty one shall be punished. Yes, true! Bring forth your leader. I am the leader. Then it is you who shall pay. No! That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Let the leader pay. As our warrior's life was taken, so shall yours be taken. Yes, yes, that's, right. yes that's right. One life for another. Father, no. You must not do this. Take him away. They cannot kill him. Not him. He is not the guilty one. He is a good man. I can't allow this to happen, White Eagle. 
But how can I stop it? You are the only one who knows the answer, Princess. What, what is it that I must do? You don't need to listen to me, my Princess. Listen to your heart. If we punish this white man, others will seek vengeance. His death will mean war. His death will mean our death. Speak no more, McCormick. Oh, this can't be happening. It just can't be happening. Tell me this isn't happening, huh? Oh, I can't look. I simply cannot look. You'll have to tell me when it's over. I can't take it. Stop this! What is, what the is that? Oh, she's got hat. You can't hurt him! Pocahontas! Well, tell me, is it over? Is it over? Yes, it's over. What's happened? Pocahontas listened to her heart. She has saved him. According to the tribal laws, a maiden has the right to spare a prisoner's life. And by law, that prisoner becomes the maiden's slave for the rest of his life. The rain has brought the insects out. <laughs> insects? Oh no, Smith, you are wrong. Oh, really? That sound is the music of the rain spirits. With each drop of rain they come. That sound is the spirits singing to each other. Did you hear her? I taught her that. Learned her lessons well, didn't she? The rains are brought to us as a gift from the Kichi Manito, the great spirit. That is why we say, April showers bring May flowers. Did you hear that? Her first bit of wisdom I ever taught her. What a smart girl. Oh, oh, oh no! You, you, you can't do this! No, no, don't, don't take that! No, no, not that! No, no! Stop, stop it now! These surprise are my responsibility! Hold your tongue if you want to keep it. And take those too. Oh, oh, please, I'm in charge of supplies until Mr. Smith returns. Don't you mean if? Mr. Smith is not back yet. With any luck, the wolves have him. That box, too. <laughs> Tonight, we all feast. <laughs> but you've, you've left us nothing. Those supplies were supposed to last us all through the winter. We have guns. Come winter, we'll use them. We'll hunt. And if there's no game left, we'll take what the savages have. O oh, mother of the earth, of whom we all are born, we call upon your daughter, the spirit of the corn. Oh, let her send her blessings, and lest our field go dry, send raindrops, mighty spirits, death thunder in the sky. O oh, spirit of the rain, the thunderbird above, we see as you fly with the rainbow that you love. Oh, send the cooling rain that our corn and beans may grow and climb up to the sun like the arrow from your bow. Shine upon our field and send us corn and gold to help our hungry people survive the winter's cold. Make the corn into cakes to carry us through the long winter. And what is this? No. It's magnificent. I, I apologize. Please forgive me. It's only that I haven't finished it yet. It was to be a surprise for you. For... Oh, but I can't accept this. This is far too generous. You... You shouldn't go to such trouble over me. No, but I must. Otherwise, I have nothing to offer you. Offer me? For what? For your love. I have no other way to show that I love you. Love? Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> love. Yes, love. But, Pocahontas, you're only a child. 
Then there is no love in your heart for me? That's not true. Yo, how can Smith not love our Pokehannis? Oh, he loves her, my friend. More than you realize. Is there another? No. I, I, I mean, yes. There was... I, I mean, is... I understand. Oh boy, maybe she understands, but I sure don't. How can he break her heart like that? You don't see it, do you? His own heart is breaking too. But he just told her he's in love with somebody else. It was the only thing he could say that would allow her to let him go. He knows a life together for them would be impossible. Just because her father wants to see him dead? Just because his people want to destroy her people? Just because he's her slave until the day he dies? Just, just, well, you may have a point. You are free to leave now. Pocahontas, really, I, I don't want to hurt you. As the one who saved your life, I also have the right to release you. I said you are free to go. Pocahontas, uh, very well, I'll go. Oh, I really tried to stop them, Mr. Smith, but, but, but I couldn't. They wouldn't listen to me. It's all right, I'm to blame for not being here. Winter's nearly upon us. Well, let's see what we have left to eat. But what can we do? Smith was elected by the people. Sometimes, you know, accidents happen. Terrible, terrible accidents. Badly hurt? How badly? It is a gift from the spirits that Smith survived at all. I will bring him our medicine man. I am sure his people don't have a healer, and if he's badly hurt, I... He won't need your healer. But Smith's hurt! He's not here! Where else could he be? A ship has taken him back to his home. They have special medicine people there. If he had stayed, he would not have survived. This winter will be especially cruel. Aw, oh, come on, Pokehannis. Every cloud has a silver lining. It's gonna be all right. Father, we must help Smith's people. If we don't share our food, they will perish. But Pocahontas, why would you have us help them? Did not the white man Smith prove himself unworthy of you? No, Father. It was not his fault that he did not love me. At least he was honest with me about that. And you still wish us to help these people? Please, Father. Oh, I think my f -f 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 feathers are f -f -f frostbited. I never knew it could get this c -c 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 cold. I believe the day is about to get warmer. But why does she want to help them? I mean, Smith isn't even here anymore. True love makes you always willing to give, no matter what the others do. Please know that you are saving our lives. I am Pocahontas. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, he spoke of you often. Did he say anything before he left? Anything about me? No, I'm afraid not. He was very badly off. Barely able to speak, you understand. Yes, I understand. It seems as if her grief will know no end. Every day she just sits there, waiting for him to come back. And every day, he doesn't come. Still, if we are able, we must restore her hope. Princess, you cannot give in to your despair. Yeah, it's always darkest before the dawn. Hey, how was that, huh? Not bad. You are a natural. Your spirit is too strong to surrender itself to such unhappiness. Huh? Empty! If someone doesn't do something, soon we'll all starve. But why the girl gains? Uh, what good will it do? She's the chief's favorite. We'll hold Pocahontas until she makes him agree to our terms. When they turn the land over to us and give us every last thing they have, then the girl can go free. 
poor Pocahontas. What can we do? Her father will have the answer. Now the white men reveal their true spirit. I will not bargain for the life of my daughter. I will not. My warriors and I will rescue her. Will you stand back? Oh, give me some room here! My friends, what are you doing here? We've come to help you escape, Princess. To what? There's nothing for me out there. I'm just as well off in here. Don't say such things, Pocahontas. But it's true. I've been the cause of too much trouble as it is. Please, just leave me here. Look over there. A couple of nice plump birds. So just stand there, shoot! <laughs> but Gaines, it's been two years. How much longer can we hold her? Until she begs her father to meet our demands. And how much longer will that be? As long as it takes. She'll realize her situation is hopeless. She'll give in. Oh, it's a thingamajig. I, I, I mean, it's a flumming bird. Maybe old uh, what's his name is back. Let's go tell Pocahontas. Let's not be hasty. We don't want to get her hopes up for nothing. That's her. Pocahontas, I would like to help you. Uh, you want to help me? You really want to help me? Perhaps our Pocahontas can put her grief behind her. She looks almost happy. Our little Pokemonus <coughs> married. May the spirit world protect you. And may peace be with you. Peace not only for them, but for the white man and the red man who no longer will be at war. Your father has been most generous to grant the settlers use of more land. We should begin farming. I'll need to return to England to make arrangements for the tools and seed. Would you come with me? Well, I've heard it from some very reliable robins that that great big uh, thingamajig has an actual crow's nest on board. And lucky for us, I speak fluent crow. Welcome to England, my wife. Such a very big, busy place. Do you... do you see any trees? Now that you mention it, no. What is that called? Oh, it is an ottoman, and please, you must uh, sit still. But there's so much to see. So many things I've never seen before. Such beautiful doors. Ah, uh, madame! And the view from your window. Madame! It's simply overwhelming. There. Are all these garments really necessary? The Lord Bishop of London will receive you tonight, my lady. You must be properly attired. Uh, what is this? A corset, ma'am. It serves to slim one's waist. But why should I try to make my waist what it is not? Well, I, uh, uh, ooh, um, uh, well, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, but the shoe, it, it's rather a tight fit. It is the style. It is? Who decides what the style is? Hmm, I believe it was, I mean, it may have been... Silk stockings, my lady, to protect your feet. From what? The shoes. Would it not be easier to wear no shoes? Oh, uh, uh, I suppose. <laughs> I, don't, ooh, I don't know. A necklace, ma'am, to show everyone your great wealth. I shouldn't wear it for that reason, but because it is so beautiful, in case you should grow warm. Would I not then remove some of these clothes? Oh, uh, you could, I imagine, but, um... <sighs> I can see I have much to learn. <sighs> we have arrived, my dear. Care to dance? No, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 wow, 
Well, it's not Saturday, but I'd been meaning to take another bath anyway. La da dee, la da da da, la da 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 dee, hoo hoo, la la la, do do do. Guess they put too much starch in my tail feathers. Will you get out of there, Fluffy Wing? She is quite a sight, is she not, Lord Mayor? Radiant, <laughs> absolutely radiant. She is, isn't she? Oh, piffle! That doesn't begin to describe her. Why, she's downright, downright. Well. She's downright pretty. That's what she is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shh! Uh, uh, she must be presented to the king and the queen. Where did she come from? From Jamestown, of course. You know of her. She's the one Captain Smith talked of. Captain Smith, did you say? John Smith? Yes, my dear. You knew him? Knew him and know him still. I spoke with him only last week. You mean he's alive? Of course. But I thought, I assumed, he was hurt so badly that I, I never heard from him and I... Quite recovered from his injuries. Oh, he's at sea uh, this very moment. Shall we dance? No, I'm sorry. Not this time. Are you all right? The trip, the, the sights, the parties. I, I suddenly feel very, very tired. Could we go, please? Are you feeling any better? A bit. I suppose it's all been too much for me. I've had news from the settlement. There are difficulties with the plantings. I'm afraid I must go back. I'll go with you. No. You have to regain your health. I won't be gone long. Fluff, he says. He calls me Fluff, and I let him. Yes, Jim, I say. King James to you. I call him Jim. I've been watching your work, he says, and I am impressed. How'd you like to be my personal royal animal guide? Oh, I don't know, says I. They pretty much depend on me back home, and, and, and... Ah. I'm sure glad we're staying. I haven't recovered from the trip over. It's not fair. Our poor Pokehana shouldn't have to lose another love. The ways of the world are rarely fair. We'll help her get by. Me and you. You and me. Us too. <laughs> Whoa! Look, my eagle friend, there's something in the ocean. Oh, white eagle, look, look! John Smith, you've come back to me after all these years. Smith, will you take me home? So long, farewell, I will send you a card. Aloha, arrivederci! At last, my daughter, you have come home. Welcome home! It starts with a beautiful morning, the sun coming over the trees. The days in the land are plenty naturally that don't get better than these. Blackberries growing on a hillside, the deer and the antelope play. Living in the land of plenty, any day's another wonderful day. Living in the Indian nation, where the beauty and life abound. Living in the Indian nation, where the spirit of nature is found. Is found. Is found. Sends a message of dawning as far as the thunderbird sees. The days in the land are plenty naturally that 
don't get better than these The days in the land are plenty naturally They don't get better than these